Latvia's emergency medical aid service provides emergency help for people throughout the country when they face critical or life-threatening situations. It is the place where we seek help during the most dangerous situations. Saving lives is their daily job. The challenge. The emergency service number receives more than 2,000 calls a day on average, and emergency teams are sent out to help in some 1,200 locations throughout the country. In many cases, however, emergency teams are sent out when there is no true danger to human health or life. Of more than 1,000 calls a day, nearly one-third are so-called secondary calls. Too many secondary calls can overload the capacity of the service, preventing them from ensuring a timely response in actual life-and-death situations. Data show that many people call the emergency services instead of approaching their family physician because the call is free. The number is easy to remember, and it is available on a 24-7 basis. Nearly 70% of secondary calls, moreover, are received outside of the normal working hours of family physicians. The goal. The goal of our client was to reduce the number of secondary calls to the emergency medical aid service, as well as to demonstrate the emergency medical aid service's everyday duties and responsibilities so as to raise awareness about the serious nature of the work which it does. The strategy. Even though the issue was important, we didn't want to discourage people from ringing the emergency number. Instead, we chose a strategy focused on other available medical solutions like the free medical consultation service. At the same time, we used the campaign as an opportunity to educate people about situations when they shouldn't delay a call to the emergency service, raise awareness about the daily work of the emergency medical aid service, encourage people to take care of their health in the long term by consulting with their family physicians. Because our aim was to reach as many people as possible in just a few months' time, we decided to coordinate a widespread information campaign by making use of all available media channels. The Execution We created a simple and straightforward visual identity to be used in all of the campaign materials. Public attention was attracted by the use of easily understood language and a rhyming slogan. The campaign was launched with a press conference featuring the Minister of Health. It was streamed online. The press conference was followed up by extensive media relations and a social media campaign. The center for the campaign was a traveling exhibition featuring well-known celebrities who shared their experiences with the most common health issues and offered alternative medical solutions. The exhibition was accompanied by free medical consultations on the spot. Simple video clips, radio ads, and other advertising were created. The agency secured the support of national television, urban public transport providers, and one of the largest outdoor advertising companies, which agreed to support the campaign with free advertising opportunities. The Results Over the course of two months, the number of emergency calls decreased by 50 to 100 calls per day, while the number of calls to the free consultation number of family physicians increased by the same number on workdays and by 100 to 200 calls on weekends. The campaign attracted huge publicity and debates in the media. The news conference attracted 3,800 views. Nine journalists took the opportunity to experience the daily work of the emergency medical aid service on a first-hand basis. In one month, there were 100 publications and radio and TV spots, nearly 40,000 information cards and 30,000 stickers with the free consultation phone number were distributed. Many citizens weighed in with their own opinion on the matter. The slogan even became a part of popular culture. We never know when we might need the emergency medical aid service, and hopefully we never will. But if we do, we count on them to make it on time.